Hello everyone, and it is time for another product review. Now, I was really excited to see this at a Loblaws store. Now, Loblaws, Real Canadian Superstore, Fortino's, Zares, No Frills, they're all one company. But there's some variations within the stores in terms of No Frills being the store where you can get more of the quote-unquote cheaper products, more of the no-name brands. Fortino's is kind of the middle of the road. Loblaws tends to, I guess, seem a little more high-end. And I happened to see this there yesterday um, on the discount cart. Discount table? Whatever. It was on, a, I guess, like a, a cart, some sort of thing. I was coming from a film set, so I stopped there and always look in their, you know, their vegan sections, what's new in natural foods, what's new here, what's new there, and they had this vegan honey, and it was 50% off. So I picked it up, and it is, um, it says here, obviously it's organic, zero honey, gluten-free, non-GMO, and the color looks right, I love the bottle, and, well, the calories I'm not so concerned about, it does sink, like it says, like it says 62 calories. What I was concerned about were the ingredients, and the ingredients are organic rice syrup, organic cane sugar, organic molasses, water, natural flavor, and ascorbic acid. Oh, nice. It says here, well, never crystallized. Certified by EcoCert Canada, and it is made, I see Mississauga. Yeah, I want more. Well, let me try it first. So I'm just toasting a piece of bread. It's often how I used to like to have honey. Of course, you can have it in your tea, etc. I make my own honey based on uh, an apple, apple, apple honey. I puree my juice or juice my apples um, and make a really nice honey. But let's uh, open this. So this was, I think, 450 or four something. Okay, well, let me, I guess the first thing I want to do is taste it on its own. And I could get a spoon, but I'll just use my hand. Okay, so you see the pour. So it is not too thin, not too thick. Now it has an interesting flavor to it. What would I call that? It's a nice flavor. Maybe sort of reminiscent of honey? I, I mean, I think, I feel like it's a really good honey substitute. When you make it with um, apples, you have the, the slight taste of the apple, which I'm really used to now with my honey. And I really do love that taste. This is a little bit of a different taste. So, But I mean, for four something, I think that for most people, especially if you want a little bit in your tea, I'm just gonna put it on here. Oops. And see if this is just like the bread toast with honey that I used to eat in the past. It definitely works well as a substitute. While not tasting exact, that said, it's been a while since I've had honey. And this has a little, a little taste to it, but I can't tell you what it is. Which could be that honey taste. As I said, for me, my honey is now, has that like nice little app, taste of apple with a bit of, um, a bit of citrus because of how I make mine. And it's really good. But this is really good. I will use this. I'll try this in tea as well. I think my daughter will like it. Um, I think it's well done. I don't know where to find this otherwise, but I will look it up. Because I definitely buy more, and if I get back to that store, I'll buy more at the 50% off, because that's a good deal. So it is Be Sweet. 
vegan honey substitute. So that's the company. Be sweet, as in be sweet with a one e, not b, as in the animal. All right, guys, that is all for now. Let me know if you've tried this and what you think. I'll see you in the next video.